<laughs> okay, um, uh, welcome back to uh, College Trigonometry. This is a video production for assignment number two. And um, for this assignment, you, um, in order to do well, you have to know the, some formula uh, that I already provided in the lecture note. Uh, you also have to know uh, all uh, four cases that I uh, give you in the lecture also. Okay, let's get started with our first problem. So in the first problem, I want to evaluate A. And A is, is a tangent of, uh, equal to tangent of 5 pi over 6. Uh, plus cosecant uh, negative 13 pi over 3 plus cotangent uh, negative 2 pi over 3. <coughs> I just want to say you guys can see clearly or not. Uh, look like the red color is not really good, right? So let me pick another color here. Uh, how about green one? Probably is better. Or maybe the black one. Maybe the black one. Hopefully, uh, maybe the blue one. I don't know if we have the blue one over here or not. Uh, let me see. Oh, I do. I do have a blue one right here. Okay. Okay, so in order to evaluate this expression, and I said it without calculator, so you're not going to put the whole thing to calculator and give me the answer. It doesn't work that way, okay? So we're going to use all of the four cases. Uh, I provided in the lecture note. Uh, the first, is ca uh, first case is, is the reference angle and the angle you want to find in, uh, in the first quadrant. The second uh, case is, is uh, the reference angle is uh, uh, the, the second on the second case is um, we have the, the reference angle, the angle we want to find that's bigger uh, than 90. Uh, okay, and uh, the third uh, case is in the uh, third quadrant, and the last case is in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so we're gonna add or subtract or subtract uh, from two pi correspondingly. Okay, let's get start with uh, uh, the tangent here. So in order to evaluate this, we need to evaluate the tangent of five pi over six. Oops. So tangent of five pi over six. Okay, so how we do this? For uh, this kind of problem, I want you to draw a picture, okay? Uh, I, I, because I, we want to know uh, what quadrant the angle we want to find is into, okay? Uh, 5 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, it looks like uh, uh, it's positive, so we go uh, counterclockwise. And as we go counterclockwise, uh, we divide pi into a uh, six part, and we take five part. So tangent of five pi over six, kind of like this. So this is our uh, circle, the unit circle. Um, so I divide it into six parts. So this is uh, six part right here. So we want we want to take three parts. So five pi over six over here. Okay. So this is positive 5 pi over 6. <coughs> so the reference angle will be what? The reference angle will be this, right? Will be this one. And this is the second quadrant. <coughs> and and in the second quadrant, uh, we um, we subtract from um, in order to calculate the the angle, we subtract the angle from um, uh, from pi. Okay, so tangent of 5 pi over 6 is actually uh, uh, equal to tangent of pi minus the reference angle. So this is 5 pi over 6, so the reference angle will be pi over 6. Okay, so we pi minus pi over 6. Okay, and this is in second quadrant, so tangent is negative. So tangent of 5 pi over 6 uh, is uh, equal to uh, negative tangent of pi over 6 because tangent of pi minus alpha is uh, ten uh, is ne negative tangent of alpha. Remember the second the second case and the second case uh, uh, pi minus uh, uh, 
theta prime uh, is equal to a theta. So theta is what the angle we want to uh, define, and theta prime is the angle. Okay. Oh, or you can do a uh, pi minus theta uh, equal to theta prime. So so theta is the angle we want uh, to find. Okay. Uh, and theta prime is the angle, uh, is a reference angle. So if we take the pi minus uh, this one, it's give you a reference angle right here. Okay. So they give, give you negative tangent of pi over six, and uh, tangent of pi over six, you already know this um, the, the pi over six is thirty degrees, so it will be negative is square root of three over three. <coughs> okay. Okay. Now cosecant. Cosecant. So cosecant of negative thirteen pi over three. Uh, cosecant is uh, has, cosecant is one over sine. So as long as we calculate the sine of uh, negative thirteen pi over three, then uh, we flip it over. So we got the answer. Right. Um, <coughs> so we're gonna calculate uh, sine of negative thirteen pi over three. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna set it one over that. Then I'll give you a cosecant. So sine of negative 13 pi over 3, you know that. This is, uh, we go in uh, clockwise. We go in clockwise, okay? And 13 pi over 3, we want to see um, how many revolutions, how many uh, 2 pi um, that close to uh, 13 pi over 3. Uh, Okay, so I can write this as a sign of uh, negative, right? Uh, if I can write this uh, 4 pi, so it looks like it goes uh, to revolution. Uh, it goes to uh, plus pi over 3. Okay, 4 pi plus pi over 3 is uh, 13 pi over 3 with a minus. Okay, so if we draw the, the reference angle, <coughs> We want to go uh, clockwise. Uh, 4 pi mean uh, two revolution, so we want to do one, two, okay. And uh, we uh, add another pi over three, so pi over three is uh, 60 degree, uh, uh, 60 degrees uh, over here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is uh, from here to here. Is pi over three. Okay, that uh, that is the reference angle. <coughs> so you see that <coughs> in this one, in uh, this is the fourth quadrant. Okay. Uh, four pi. This is the reference angle right here. Is pi over three. The fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant. Uh, sine is a negative, right? In four quadrant, sine is negative. So I can write this as neg uh, sine of uh, pi over three, okay? Because the sine negative here, sine four quadrant is negative, okay? And uh, uh, the reference angle is uh, is pi over three, okay? And, and four pi you can throw it away. It's, it's, it's not counted anymore, okay? So sine of pi over three, we know pi over three is sixty degree. Uh, so sine of pi over three is negative uh, uh, negative three over two. Okay. Okay. Then uh, uh, I can flip it over so that I can get the cosecant. So cosecant of uh, cosecant of negative 13 pi over 3 is uh, 1 over that will be negative 2 uh, square root of 3 okay so it will be uh, negative 2 square root of 3 over 3 okay <coughs>
Okay. So uh, we finished the second one. And uh, let's do the last one, cotangent of uh, negative 2 pi over 3. And cotangent is 1 over tangent. So we take the tangent of negative pi over 3 and make it a reciprocal, give you the answer. So tangent negative pi over 3, it is, um, we go in uh, uh, clockwise. And uh, <coughs> how much we go? Uh, we, we divide uh, half the circle three part. Well, we go this way, right? And we take two part. So it's one, two, three. So it's kind of like that. Okay. So negative two pi over three here. <coughs> so let's calculate tangent negative two pi over three. I can draw this as a tangent of uh, negative and uh, pi minus pi over three, right? So right here, reference angle and power three right here. So this is the third quadrant. Okay, this is the third quadrant, and <coughs> and because this is the third quadrant, uh, tangent should be positive. Okay, tangent should be positive. So this is equal to tangent of uh, power over three, uh, because in the third quadrant, so the case number three. Case number three. This is uh, case number um, uh, four. Okay. This is case number two. Okay. <coughs> so we have tangent of power three. Uh, tangent of power sixty degrees. So tangent of sixty degrees is uh, square root three. Okay. So we get cotangent of negative two power three will be 1 over square root of 3 will be square root of 3 over 3. Okay. It's kind of dark, right? I cannot see anything. Oh my god. Uh, let me see if I can make it better. Uh, okay. Hopefully. Two. Oh, the battery is running slow. That's why something wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> and plug in the, the the power. There you go. There you go. It's much better now. Uh, okay. Uh, there you go. Hey. Great. <laughs> okay, so uh, we um, uh, finished uh, calculating all cotangent, cotangent coefficient. Uh, so we can get uh, uh, a equal to um, a tangent of uh, five pi over six over here. So it will be negative square root three over three. Uh, cosecant is right here. So negative two square root three over three. And uh, cotangent is uh, plus square root three over three. So this is this cancel out, so your answer will be negative two square root three over three. Okay, negative square root three over three. Uh, let me check one more time. Just want to make sure that everything will be all right. So tangent pi minus cotangent is uh, pi minus pi over three. Uh, so quadrant here, so tangent is positive. Uh, Three. Yep, I think so. Okay, so this is good now. Now go second. Uh, then you size have a little. Yep. Uh, side here. I flip it over. We come two over. So we come two over square root three over. Good. Good. <coughs> All right. So this is the answer. Uh, this is the answer for. Uh, part A, uh, uh, number one, sorry. Okay, how about number two? Number two is very easy too. Number two, it just, uh, they ask you to find an area. And um, <coughs> uh, you just need to find the area of the sector 
um, and the area of the triangle, and actually this is a equilateral triangle because it's an isosceles triangle with six degrees. So they give you equilateral triangle. <coughs> and in order to find equilateral triangle, you can um, use uh, in order to find area, you can uh, use um, Pythagorean theorem if you want to because they, they give you radius is two, so radius two. But I apply uh, one of the uh, formula you learn in uh, high school, especially when, even when you uh, have a SAT. Uh, so the area of triangle ABC is uh, the formula uh, to find the area of uh, equilateral triangle A, uh, A squared square root 3 over 4. Okay. So uh, with A is the, the side of the equilateral triangle, so the side of the equilateral triangle right here is 2, so 2 squared square root 3 over 4, so it will be square root 3, we need the area. <coughs> And now I just want to find the area of the sector. And the area of the sector is what? Area of the sector. We already learned the formula, which is equal to one half uh, square theta. With theta is the, the measure of the angle in Drayden. Okay, so we one half. R is two, so two squared is four. Drayden is uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees pi over uh, pi over three. So I'll give you two power three. Okay. So we find the area of the shaded region will be the area of the sector will be two power three uh, minus the area of the uh, tri triangle uh, equilateral triangle square root three. Then will be the your answer. Okay. You can go back to decimal form you want to, but you just leave it like that, uh, I'll take, uh, I'll give you credit for it, okay, for in your way, okay. Number three, number three is, uh, like it's a crazy, uh, crazy uh, question, but it's not either, okay. So, <coughs> now I give you half the circle like this, right, and um, I give you uh, another, uh, this is the center, I have a circle, this is A and B here, and uh, there's another, I have a circle with AO as the diameter. Okay, and the center over here is uh, I, I name it. And uh, from I, I, I draw a line that cut uh, the first circle at K, okay, and I cut the second circle at C, okay, and I uh, so this a a i is that is the radius of the circle i, and i k is also the smaller radius. Okay. Okay. And I uh, it's given that this is uh, thirty degree. Okay. And I want to find the shaded area right here. Right. I'm sure a lot of students have uh, trouble with this, uh, including the tutor, of course. Uh, but it's not really about that. It's just all about the eyes. It's all about your eyes, okay? And it's all about the concept um, I mentioned in class. And uh, I know that the concept has been, uh, it was taught uh, by your um, uh, high school teacher pretty, pretty long time ago. But uh, I mentioned that in class already, so hopefully you remember. <coughs> One of the concept is about uh, the central angle. Okay, and the central angle. This is this is the central angle. Okay. So this is the central angle here. Okay, here. And one of the uh, concept you learn in high school, the central the central angle is always double uh, the angle sub subtended the same R. So this is CB over here. So angle uh, angle COB is actually double. This one gives you 64 degree. Okay. Um, and another uh, concept you learn in high school, you forgot it too, but uh, this is college. So every knowledge you learn in high school, you have to uh, remember to, right? You're not allowed to
forget and uh, adding and subtracting number, right? Um, so whatever you learn, you have to uh, uh, carry on to the next level, okay? Another level, uh, another concept is that uh, if K is the, one of the points on the circle and AO is considered as the, the core, AO is the radius and the diameter and the chord. So it will uh, create a 90 degree here. Okay. The same thing um, is will create 90 degree here also. Okay. Because just imagine this angle here is subtend the R. This R. And this is the half of the circle. This so this is, this arc right here is 180 degree. Okay, this arc right here 180 degree. And the angle over here substantiated this arc. I mean that angle right here is half of the measure of this arc. That's why the angle over here is 90 degree. Same thing. The angle right here is 90 degree. And this is 90 degree, 90 degree. So the perpendicular to AC. CB perpendicular to AC, KO perpendicular to AC, so KO parallel to CB. That's geometry concept you learn in um, ninth grade, I believe so. All right, so uh, there's some information how we can get out of the picture. But well, first of all, this is 64. This is very important. So in order to find a city area, this is my strategy. Probably you have different strategy. But it doesn't matter, uh, as long as you get the, the, the correct answer, that's good. So, in order to find this, so I'm going to find, I will find the area. Mm, let me see. Oh, uh, I give you uh, BAC32, right? Okay. And I have an area, uh, circle, the circle, the big circle has area. So the area of the big circle is uh, 32 pi. So from there, I can find the radius of the bigger circle, which is OB and AO, uh, uh, equal to pi r squared. So r squared equal to uh, 30 pi. Uh, 32 pi over pi. The radius will be square root of 32, which is uh, 4 square root of 2. So from here to here, is 4 square root of 2 and from here to here is 4 square root of 2 so AO will be uh, 2 square root of 2 of course right <coughs> okay so my strategy is that uh, let me see I can find the area of the, the triangle ACB, right? And I, I subtract, um, I subtract the angle, uh, the triangle uh, A, AKO, and I subtract the little piece right here. Okay, and I give you the second one. Okay, that's one of the strategy. Another strategy is um, uh, I find the area of the sector COB, okay, okay, so this 64 degree, I can change to uh, uh, reading, uh, I find the area of COB, and I find the area of the shaded part CKO right here, CKO, right here, the curved part, so I'm going to use another pencil, uh, another pen here, so right here, Right there. there you go. Then I add them up and give you the answer. Okay. So there's uh, several uh, uh, different approaches to deal with this uh, problem. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and find a COB. Okay. I'm going to find a sector COB. Uh, but first one, I want to change it to uh, radian because in order to find the area of sector, the unit must be in radian. So 64 degree. 64 degree, I change to radian 64. Uh, pi over 180 this will be 16 over 45 pi all right i set up a proportion uh proportion remember last uh i showed you in class because pi 180 degree right so six 
60 degree will be 60, uh, 64 degree will be 64 times pi over 180 give you uh, this okay reading so I can find <coughs> the area uh, of sector uh, COB will be what uh, one half r square times theta will be one half r is the uh, radius here is four square root uh, four square root two uh, times theta will be sixteen pi over forty five. Okay, so I calculate them out. I can join two square root two, two square root two, and I squared it. Oh, this is square. I'm sorry, sixteen square root eight square. Uh, sixteen divided by two is uh, eight, right? Uh, 8 times 2 is 16, so 16 times 16 pi over of, uh, 45 and give you a uh, 17.87 unit square. Okay, so that's uh, the area of the uh, COB. Now to find the area of um, I can find the area of uh, uh, this one by uh, finding the area of the big one minus the, the area right here. Uh, let me see. Okay, um, so this is the midpoint. Um, oh, look at the triangle here, C, uh, C, A, A, C, O right here. Okay, uh, C, C, A, O, C, A, O right here. This is also this right here. Um, let's see. This is isosceles triangle, right? So CO, CO equal to AO. So and this is KO is uh, uh, is the antitude, and because it's isosceles, the antitude become the median, okay? And that's why uh, K is a midpoint of um, K is a midpoint of AC. And if K is midpoint of AC, I is the midpoint of AO. So uh, KI is mid segment. Mid segment of triangle uh, A, uh, A o, OAC. Okay, triangle AOC. Uh, the concept you learn in high school too. Okay. Mm. And you suppose you know. Uh, and because let's see what else <laughs> I should really forget. Um, this is segment. Uh, oh, actually, you don't, we don't need that. Ah, oh, okay. And because this is a mid segment, okay. Uh, this uh, this is a mid segment. This uh, midpoint here, midpoint here is a mid segment. So this mean parallel. It mean ki uh, parallel to a. Uh, uh, OC. Okay. And with the KI parallel to OC, then angle uh, uh, COB equal to angle KIO equal to 60 degree. Right here. Okay. You can do that, or you can uh, you can look at the small dry, uh, the small uh, circle right here, and you said it's 60 degree because it's obtained the arc KO, so it's double, it's a uh, 64, I'm sorry. So 64, yeah, you can do that too, okay? That, this is one of the reasons, okay? You can say uh, KIO 64 degree, uh, 64 degree because it's obtained the arc KO, so it's double KAO, 32 degree right here, so it's 64 degree. And uh, I can find the area of the sector area of sector uh, KIO okay uh, will be a uh, one half R radius is the two square root two square over 
uh, equal uh, time uh, theta. So sixty four. Sixty four degree is uh, again uh, sixteen pi over forty five. We already calculated here. So my answer will be what? My answer will be what? It will be uh, yeah, four, right? So as for uh, two square root of one half, two square root of four times two, a sixteen pi over forty five. So it will be uh, four, it will be sixty four pi over forty five, right? Oh, hopefully, yep, it should be KIO, KIO. Oh, I got only 32 in my solution. I don't know why I got 32. Oh, yes, that's good because this is square. I forgot, I forgot square in two square roots, two here. Um, area of sector KIO is. Uh, One half, yeah. I forgot it's to to uh, to square it over here. That's why. Okay, so it should be good. Okay, because uh, it's KL here, KL that that sector right there. Okay, one half radius. Um, two is going to square. Uh, time this. I uh, just want to check if I have any case mistake. Uh, four. Uh, it's going to two. So four. Sixty-four. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's the area of uh, that sector. Now we find the area of the uh, small triangle here. Okay, so in order to find the area of um, <coughs> let me see. One, two, I already wrote down here, but now I just um, okay, so okay, um, okay. So I'm gonna find KO uh, in order to find the area. Uh, in order to find an area here, so I gotta find an area here. In order to find a big, in order to find a yellow one right here, right? I take the big one, I subtract the sector KIO, and I subtract the small one right here. That's that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, or you can find the whole thing, the area of the whole thing. You subtract the small one, and you subtract the little piece. Same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna find KO. So in order to find KO, I apply, um, uh, I consider triangle KAO. So um, side of 30 degree, right? Uh, 32 degrees, side equal to opposite KO over hypotenuse is AO. So KO will be AO times side of 32 degree. And AO is what? AO is 4 square root of 2 uh, times side of 32 degree. My answer is um, two point twelve square root of two. Hopefully, I got it right. Okay, so that's KO. Um, okay, so uh, the triangle AIK here is another isosceles. So in order to find the area, I draw another perpendicular uh, anti two a one, and I call that this is point J, okay. And because IJ is the the mid segment, okay, of triangle AKO, okay, is the mid segment of triangle uh, AKO. Uh, so IJ IJ is half of uh, KO. Okay, uh, so um, so IJ will be what? 
uh, as I have a KO, so as it will be uh, KO is this, so it will be 2 times uh, 2 squared over 2, over 2, right? 2.12 divided by 2 is um, 1.06 square root of 2, that's IJ. Okay. And uh, we can find uh, AK easily, right? So AK is one. Let me get another paper. <coughs> so AK, 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 so we're going to use cosine, uh, cosine 32 degree. Right? It's AK over uh, J, uh, uh, over hypotenuse AO, so AK will be uh, AO times sine of cosine of 32 degree. So AO is what? AO, uh, AO is 2 square root of 2. Oh, I messed up right here. AO is 2 square root of 2. Oh, 4 square root of 2, I'm sorry. 4 square root of 2. <laughs> okay, uh, times cosine 32. Uh, it give you uh, 3.4 square root 2, okay, so that's give you AK, uh, and I got AJ, right, so I can find, um, let's see, I can find the area of uh, triangle, area of triangle, uh, uh, AIK, okay, so it will be what, a quarter of one half, base time high, right, AK is uh, 3.2, uh, 2.4 square root of 2, times uh, IJ, IJ is uh, 1.06 square root of 2, so let me see what I get, uh, oh my god, uh, 3.4 times uh, 1.06, divided by 2, right? And I uh, cancel with the 2 here, so um, multiply by 2. So, if you uh, 3.604, okay? So that's this uh, area of triangle AIK. And now we can find the area of the triangle uh, AOC. Next, find area of triangle AOC. <coughs> okay, uh, in order to find the area of this, we just need to, um, again, we use our base, uh, one half base time high, so we'll be equal to one half base is AC, time high is KO. Uh, KO, we already got it here. So AC is double AK, so AC is double AK, so one half times two times 3.4 square root of two, okay, AK is this, times KO, KO is this, so 2.12 square root of two, so cancel okay, so the amount, so I have what, <coughs> 3.4 times uh, 2.12, right, uh, multiply by two, okay, so 14.4. 416. Okay, 14.416. 14.416 for the area of A AOC. Uh, I think uh, probably my approach could be uh, take a kind of more time than the, uh, the other approach, but I mean, still, you know. Uh, so I got a fire. Uh, I got the area of AOC. Now I want to find uh, area of um, uh, part uh, CKO. So equal to area of AOC, area of uh, triangle AOC minus area of triangle um, triangle A AIK and minus area of triangle of the sector uh, KIO okay so uh, this is 14.416 minus AIK is 3.604 
minus KIO, uh, which is 64 pi over 45. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to change. I'm going to change 64 pi um, <coughs> over 45 into decimal number. 64 times pi divided by 45. So 4 point, so 14.416 minus 3.604 minus 4.468. Okay. Okay. Plus 3.604. Okay, so minus 14.416. Alright, so 6.34. Uh, 34, 4. Okay, so now the area of CKO. Now we're gonna add the area of COB. So, set it area V1 equal to uh, 6.344 plus uh, plus what? Plus the area of COB, right? Plus the area of COB and 17.87. 17.87 right here. Right here. Okay, so I'll give you the answer. So 6.344 plus 17.87 give you 24.214. Okay, unit. Oh, unit square. And uh, so we done. And I say at the beginning, uh, there's the two three different approach uh, you can find the area of the whole thing and find the area uh, subtract this let's check the area here okay so find a big one subtract uh, here subtract this let's give you that okay or you can find the area of the CAO then subtract the here and here the same thing okay but the answer we uh, uh, like that I don't know if I have any um, Kelly's mistake, but uh, and, uh, I'm sure that 100% the logic is right. Okay. Okay, so that is for uh, problem number three. That's a pretty long one, I know, but that's what it is. Okay, you learn it, right? Okay. <coughs> so, for number four, uh, number four, uh, I don't know if this problem is killing you or not. Uh, so, uh, number four, uh, I had a picture that looked like this, all right? It's a rectangle, and I had something like this, and I had a curve that looked like that, okay? And I have another curve here, and not curve, it's just a, sec uh, a sector, and I said this is 30 degree, and I know this is a D, uh, DH, this is a rectangle force, okay? And uh, uh, BC, the radius of that sector is phi, so BC means phi also, BC equal to BC equal phi, <coughs> okay, and I want to find this, alright, again, whatever you learn, you're not allowed to forget, so this is what we're here to do. in order to find the area of this, I find the area of the trapezoid minus the area of the sector, the area of the sector is easy. Okay, sector uh, uh, BCD will be uh, one half R square theta. So one half channel pi theta is 30 degree, uh, which is pi over 6. Okay. So this is give you uh, 25 uh, over 12 pi. Okay, <coughs> that's the area of the sector. Now we want to find the area of the trapezoid. In order to find the area of the trapezoid, we use this formula. Area of trapezoid is uh, one half uh, top base plus bottom base divided times amplitude dh divided by two. Okay. And in order to find the h, well, that is so easy, right? Look at the triangle here, side 30 degree equal to opposite the edge over hypotenuse so the edge will be side 30 degree and be 5 over 2 with 2.5 unit so that's the edge 
uh, in order to find uh, BC, we are now BC is fine. In order to find um, uh, B, uh, AD, AD is this is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Um, this is a rectangle. So um, uh, AD B equal BH, right? So if I can find HC, okay. And I subtract it from BC, I got BH. I mean, I got AD. So HC, I can use cosine, cosine 30 degree degree. It's HC over 5, so HC will be plus 5 times cosine 30 degree. Cosine 30 degree size 16 degree. Uh, square root 3 over 2 times uh, 5. So 5 square root 3 over 2. Okay, so that's HC, and HC equal to, uh, oh. Uh, SC uh, equal to BC minus uh, BH, right? So BH is what? BH is BC minus BH. Uh, BH is BC minus SC, and BC is 5 minus 5 square root 3 over 2. Okay. That uh, gives you BH. <coughs> okay. So BH equal to AD, so equal to 5 minus 5 square root 3 over 2 because of, because, uh, of a rectangle. Okay, so I got AD. Okay, so I can find the area of trapezoid. It's 1 half AD. AD is 5, um, it is 5 minus 5 square root 3 over 2. BH is 5. BH is BH, 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 is uh, 5 over 2. Okay, so it'll be, uh, it'll be what? It'll be 25, 5 plus 10, uh, 5 times 5 is 25, it's 25 over, uh, over what? Over what? Uh, yeah. Uh, because phi um for twenty I think I'm gonna just very slowly. So this is five over four, right? The ten plus minus five square root three over two. So uh, it's gonna be what or ten five over two, right? Uh, five over two, five over twenty-five over two, right? Uh minus uh twenty-five over eight square root three. Okay, so that's the area of the trapezoid. Okay, that's the area of the trapezoid. Now I can find the area of the shaded one. Okay, give me the area of the trapezoid, which is what? Yeah, which is uh, 25 over 2, uh, 25 over 2 minus uh, 25 over 8, 25 over 8, square root 3. Okay, that's the area of the trapezoid minus. The area of the sector, which is um, 25 over 12 pi. Okay, and you can go to blah 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 to give you a decimal number, then that will be the answer. Okay, you know, in the assignment, sometimes I just check if you have a good strategy or not. You know, everybody has human error, so you guys can have a careless mistake, that, that's fine to me. Um, but uh, make sure that your strategy is correct. This, this is all about uh, critical thinking, about your skill, okay? Uh, human error um, uh, can be ignored. <laughs> it can be ignored in this, in this case, okay? That's for number four. All right, I'm going to throw this away. Uh, number five is kind of uh, uh, throw you guys off also. But I mean, it's it, it's not hard. If you guys know, remember the um, if you guys know the perfect square formula. I know that formula has been haunting you. you know, it's been haunting a lot of students. But it's not that bad. Okay, look. When when I finished the problem, you was kind of oh, you kind of surprised because it's so easy, you know. But you couldn't see that because it's, it's all about your eyes. Okay, so we have sine alpha plus sine alpha equal to 12 over 25. And I want you to calculate sine alpha plus sine alpha and then Pythagorean identity 
of trigonometry, you will learn like the first section, two section, three section. At the beginning of the course, we know this. Side square alpha plus square side square alpha equal one. We know this. Okay, when the first time we, we talk about trigonometry ratio, uh, the textbook and I already introduced this formula. And uh, this formula actually, actually come from uh, the, um, the, um, the ratio between um, radius and x and y, remember, because uh, we want to write a uh, trigonometry ratio in terms of uh, uh, x, y, uh, x and y as a function, okay? And the radius. So this formula, you know. And just think when this formula, okay, and this one, the product and the sum right here is actually is a part of a uh, uh, perfect square formula. 2ab plus b squared. So I can write sine alpha plus cosine alpha squared equal to uh, sine alpha squared plus 2 uh, sine alpha cosine alpha plus cosine alpha square and sine alpha plus cosine is equal to equal 1 plus 2 sine x times cosine is 12 times 25 okay so this will give you sine alpha plus cosine alpha square and uh, combine this give you what um, uh, give you 1 plus um, 24 over 25 right so 25 Plus 24 is 49 over 25, right? And I take square root sine plus cosine alpha equal to plus minus uh, 7 over 5. Okay? And look at that. We have a system. So I combine with this. So sine alpha cosine alpha equal 12 plus over 25. So let's take a look at the first case you know, when it is positive, and the second case, same thing, sine alpha plus cosine alpha equals 7 over 5, sine alpha times cosine alpha equals 12 over 25, it's minus. So we're going to solve the system here. If I let co, I let that sine equal, sine alpha equal u, and this uh, cosine alpha equal v, sine alpha equal u, cosine alpha equal v. So I have a product and the sum, I can solve the system. 7 over 5, 12 over 5, 25. And same thing over here, I saw another system, I have u plus v, u minus u times v, equal negative 7 over 5, equal 12 over 25, so I have another system. When I have two systems here, I can tell everybody now how to solve a system of equation. When you already learn that, you will even learn how to solve a non-linear system of equation. Some of that, I, I, I taught college algebra, and I, I know that all instructors have to go through that, and you you, you guys had to go through that also, okay? So you guys know how to do it. And this is not even non-linear. This is linear, okay? So you do substitution, you do substitution, and you do, uh, you shop, uh, U and V, um, then you, ha you have U uh, is negative 4 over 5, and V is negative 3 over 5 for this case, and uh, over here U equal negative 3 over 5, and V equal to, uh, uh, negative 4 over 5, and you got the answer. And, uh, okay, I'm going to skip the steps of an system equation because uh, uh, you're supposed to know that already. You can use, uh, uh, you have to use substitution in this case because elimination doesn't work. Okay, so that's for number 5. Okay. And for number 6, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, I'm sitting here with uh, the sum tangent and cotangent. And you remember, you remember the whatever, trigonometry ratio I give you at the beginning of the semester. Also, I say that uh, cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, right? So if it's reciprocal of the, of the tangent, then the product equal to one. It means the tangent alpha times cotangent alpha equal to one, right? Because cotangent, because cotangent is one of the tangent, so it cancel out, right? And I apply again. I apply uh, the perfect square uh, formula. Also, uh, we will see it's a very interesting thing because uh, the product of tangent and cotangent is a part of the perfect square formula. So if I uh, uh, apply tangent plus cotangent and square, if I apply per, uh, perfect square formula, I have tangent square plus two cotangent. 2 tangent alpha cotangent alpha plus cotangent square alpha 
And what I have, so I have um, uh, this one I give you. Oh, let me see. I give you the minus. So I probably will use uh, the, the other perfect square. The perfect square we have is this minus. Uh, oh, I give you the sum. I'm sorry. I give you the sum. And given that, I give it that uh, tangent alpha plus cotangent alpha equal three is here. So we'll give you nine because it's square. We go square here, three. So uh, tangent square alpha plus cotangent square alpha plus two. Uh, tangent times cotangent equal one. So we give you two only. So we give you seven equal to tangent square alpha plus cotangent square alpha. Okay. And Let me see. Okay. Um, so uh, that's give you uh, uh, that's this the first equation. I apply the set of another perfect square. I know uh, tangent square alpha minus square tangent square alpha square is uh, tangent uh, square alpha plus cotangent square alpha minus two, right? Because it's minus, minus, okay? So this is give you seven minus two, I give you, uh, because it's seven, minus two is five. So tangent alpha minus cotangent alpha square equal to five. So tangent alpha minus cotangent alpha equal plus minus square root two. And it's done. Okay, so you see that all the concept we already learned, a lot of concept, um, you might forget, but uh, uh, nothing beyond what you are learned in this course, or nothing beyond what you really learn in college algebra uh, in high school. And this concept are uh, also uh, revealed that already. Okay. Uh, so, whatever you already learned, you're not allowed to forget, okay? And because uh, you're going to see that again and again and again, and I know it is trigonometry course, uh, you have to prepare for another higher level in, in calculus, in, uh, uh, calculus 1, calculus 2, calculus 3, so uh, I think this assignment is, is very, it's a great opportunity for you to um, uh, train your brain and your mind uh, to think uh, logically and critically, okay? So, uh, yeah, so I think that's all for the correction video today. It's kind of, boom, it's almost an hour, <laughs> okay? So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, uh, I'm, I will be uh, grading um, your first test soon, but uh, I don't know if I have enough time to, uh, to uh, do the video for the solution of the first test. Um, I already uh, finished the solution. But um, maybe I, if I don't have time, then I'm going to post it on a camera so that you can see and check your answer, okay? If you guys have any questions related to the assignment, let me know, okay? Uh, I probably, again, I'm human. I probably have careless mistake, but the logic is right, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>